Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a bit more testing with the Windows 10 Technical Preview Build 9926. I'm actually quite curious to see how this will run on minimum low-end hardware. Now, one of the biggest compliments I've seen for Windows 8.1 is that people will say that it runs really well compared to Windows 7. It'll run faster than 7, Vista, XP, etc. So I'm interested to see how Windows 10, at least the technical preview at this point, will run on minimum hardware. And my testing computer pretty much fits the bill. It has faster than 1 GHz CPU. It has exactly 1 GB of memory. It has over 16 GB of free hard disk space. And it does have a DirectX 9 capable graphics card. So let's go ahead and look at the computer for just a moment and I will give you more specs after that. So this is the actual computer that I use for testing in the videos when I'm not using a virtual machine. This is an HP DC7700 small form factor and this actually has an XP COA on here. And as you can see I've kind of just put all my case stickers onto this computer. You've got Windows and Intel, Sapphire, Gorilla's Choice, it's got everything. Uh, not really relevant to this video, but I thought I'd show the computer anyway. Alright, we are back on the computer, and a couple of specs I didn't give you originally. This is a Core 2 Duo 6300 running at 1.86 GHz, two 512 MB uh, memory modules, and it says a 40 GB Western Digital Caviar SE, I believe, hard drive, 7200 RPM. Normally in this computer I do use a solid state drive, but we are looking for the minimum computers that can run on this. The lowest end we can come up with without having to spend any more money buying another computer. And the hard drive works just fine. And we have a uh, Radeon HD 5450 graphics card for HDMI output mainly. No games or anything like that. We also have W Split open. Yeah, we're going to be doing a speed run. No, what we're really doing is just trying to see... Uh, what the install time is like, we are going to be installing from a DVD, so should be pretty quick. So let us see how well it works. I'll just go ahead and reboot the computer. Go to the boot menu. Let's get our split going. Uh... Okay, we are on the language screen, only took about 45 seconds, install now. So it has just finished extracting the files and now it's about to do its first reboot. I don't know how fast that is compared to Windows 7 or 8.1, seems pretty fast to me, I guess. You compare this to installing Windows XP or something like that, yeah, this is way, way faster than XP. No doubt about it. So it is just now done its second reboot after the getting devices ready screen. Still pretty fast for an old hard drive and older computer, so see how it goes later on. Alright, we just hit the white screen, a little under 13 and a half minutes. Pretty fast. Let's continue setting up this computer. Okay, so it loaded up. Sign in without a Microsoft account. Finish. Is it going to allow us to change some settings? It doesn't appear to allow us to do that. Maybe I clicked through it too fast. I don't know. All right, we are starting. And time. Under 20 minutes, not bad. Pretty fast. That might be a little bit slower than Windows 7 and 8.1, but I'm attributing that to all of the additional stuff that Windows 10 comes with. So now that we have the operating system itself installed, let's do some normal computer stuff like fix our resolution. See how slow it is to do this. It's taking a little while to load the uh, screen resolution control panel thing. And this is also 
really due to Windows Update probably running right now. That's the thing with the technical preview that kind of throws off any kind of benchmarks or times that you might be doing for whatever reason is that it's probably running Windows Update right now and you can't turn it off. So you just have to live with it because that's how it goes. And we do not have the uh, AMD drivers installed with Windows 10. So we're just going to continue using this resolution until Windows Update actually gives us the correct drivers instead of just generic. Let's see how that's doing. Update. taking a little, little while to load, and for whatever reason it doesn't detect the first letter of whatever I type. This is the weirdest thing. Update. There we go. Not UPS. Um, Windows update. Come on. Let's try it from the start menu. Maybe we can find it. Not sure why it's becoming a problem all of a sudden. Fire up settings here. Kind of slow to interact with. Okay, update. How's it doing? No updates are available. Hmm. Then what is this thing doing, I wonder? It's details. Performance? Well, not really that. What's using all our CPU? Nothing, really. Memory. So there's our performance with our minimal computer here. It's maxing out that hard drive. Memory usage, pretty high, but again, one gigabyte minimum memory, so should be fine. We'll be hitting that page file soon, I'm sure. CPU, not bad. Windows updates, of course, automatic or notify. And it doesn't appear to be installing updates, so let's do something that everybody does. Install a different web browser and see how long it takes. Go ahead and just time it and see. Ready, go. We'll go ahead and install Firefox. It's easy enough. This is, of course, IE11. Get Firefox.com. Can we load it, please? No, we gotta load other bullshit. Get Firefox.com. Okay, so we have our file finally downloaded. Let's go ahead and install Firefox itself. See how that goes. And we should definitely be maxing out this memory with this. Default is fine for now. So just to make sure it doesn't run, we're going to put it on Notify to schedule restart. So while we're waiting, I went ahead and load up a Flash game, and my god, it seems to be having problems. Let's put it back down to 25 FPS and see if it runs. Because Windows 10 Technical Preview does include its own copy of Adobe Flash Player, so you can actually load up Flash games right out of the box, but they seem to be quite slow. And nothing seems to be happening. I'm not sure why. Hmm. 
And anyway, so we'll just go ahead and skip the import and get ready on time. Close enough, a little under seven minutes. That's really slow in my opinion, but you know, it's an older computer. What do you expect? Use it as default browser. And I should mention that I don't have the graphics drivers installed right now. I'm just going to go ahead and do that just to make sure we're getting a fair test with this. I don't want to piss off too many Windows fanboys out there, so give me just a moment. And you may have thought that maybe my download speed was the reason why Firefox was taking so long to download. Let's see how fast the AMD drivers download. It's actually a little slower than I expected, but as you can see, the speed is not the problem. The speed of the connection, that is, not the problem. So it's finally finished installing the drivers. Let's go ahead and just reboot and see how long the startup is for Windows 10 on minimum hardware. Go ahead and reset WSplit here. And I'm going to go ahead and start the timer whenever the desktop is closed and we're on that screen. And yeah, that install took about 10 to 15 minutes or something. Pretty long time. Uh, couldn't kill Task Manager quick enough, so we have to manually kill it. Yeah, pretty slow. Not what I would call optimal. So it has just now gotten off of the rebooting screen, and now it is finally starting up. We are on the logon screen. It's been about a minute. And we are finally back on the desktop. We haven't loaded any icons yet. There we go. So, it took about two minutes to start up, kind of slow, but once again, minimum hardware. Microsoft says technically this can run Windows 10, but obviously it's not something that you would actually want to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave the uh, overscan or underscan settings the same since WSplit looks better down there. So let's go ahead and load up that web browser and try to play a Flash game again. Just to demonstrate how slow this is. Man, that disk is working. And as you can see, IE is having a lot of problems opening this web page, or really all of the web pages. Pretty slow. Pretty sure that page file is taking a big hit right now on a not so fast hard drive with not so much memory. So, minimum hardware requirements. Just because you can doesn't mean you really want to. Oh, at least it seems playable, as opposed to that cool math version. If I can actually get in the game. There we go. Okay, we're working now. Uh, I think the latency is a bit off because I'm using the capture card, so... I should expect deaths. Browsing different web pages. It seems to be very slow. Internet Explorer does not like to respond very much on this install. Firefox is having the same problem, and Chrome would probably be even worse because of its increased memory usage compared to Firefox. So, I think that's all the testing we need to do with this installation. Now, you look at that task manager, you look at what's taking the biggest hits right now. And my theory is that I'm going to do one change to this computer. I've already talked about it, I already do it all the time, but... I'm going to do one change, and I think we can get this install working much better, so 
check in next time and we'll try to get this minimum hardware computer running much faster with Windows 10 technical preview.